Welcome to another episode of Evernote, Learning the Basics. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in this week's episode, we're going to be learning all about note formatting. Coming up next... So here we are within Evernote for Mac. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you all a little bit about note formatting. So what do I mean by that? Well, whenever you create a note, you can format it using the normal formatting rules that you would see in, say, Word or Excel or such. So let me give you a little brief demonstration of that. So if I was to click on new note here and I put in a title, this is a test. And then down here, I can start typing my note. This is a test of the National Broadcasting Service. Sorry, I couldn't resist. And so now, if I wanted to, since I've typed this in here, and it goes with the default text that uh, you have set up for Evernote, now that I've uh, typed that in here, I can start formatting stuff. So as you see up here, I have different things that I can do with this text. I can change the font to something else. I can change the size. I can make it bold, italicized, underline it and change the color of it. And of course, I can highlight it as well. This can be useful if you are trying to take notes and you need to um, make stuff stand out outside of your note. Maybe you are typing something for a, um, a classroom study or such, and you're writing a whole bunch of notes, or maybe you've copied and pasted some notes in here, and you want to highlight certain areas of it that stick out for your um, learning capabilities. So you can use this formatting rules here for just that. Also, let's say for instance, I was wanting to create a checklist. Well, there's a check um, box here. So let's say I wanted to cr uh, create a checklist. I could just go ahead and start typing the checklist wake up, run, go to work, come back home, go to sleep. So you can make yourself a checklist as well that is checkmarked and will checkmark stuff off when you click in it. So these are some of the formatting rules that you can utilize when creating yourself notes. Now, if you notice, when I was creating the checklist, all I did was hit enter and go down to the next line and go ahead and enter the next note. And if I wanted to get out of that, I would just hit delete or backspace to get out of that and now go down to the next line. You can also conversely uh, have number rules as well, just like you can in Word and Excel. You can go ahead and have, um, you know, a number of rules that you might want to put in here. and so forth. Also, you can create bulleted lists by just clicking on this button here. Right, just like that. Or you can also um, create a separator line like that if you want to separate stuff. Like that or you can also do a line left center a line right justify so for instance if I wanted to this right here if I wanted to for some odd reason center it I can do so also if I wanted to take this right here and put it into a table I can do so if I chose chose to by just go ahead and selecting how my table with here and then I could just type that in there. And 
and you can type in each cell. You can also widen the cells here, just like you can in Excel. So these are the different things that you can do with formatting inside of uh, Evernote here. Now also, not only do you have these formatting rules here, you also have the formatting box up here as well, where you can do different kinds of things like this. If I wanted to increase the indent level, I could to go to there, and now it's no longer here, it's over there. I can also go right here and decrease a uh, list level. I can also go in here and uh, do uh, toggle bullet list, toggle numbered list. I can table, do inserts, links, add links. I can also do styling, different types of styling, just like you can in Word and such. I can also insert a to do. So if I click here, I can insert a to do, which is just basically putting that check mark that you see right there. Also, I can insert horizontal rules. I can insert a date if I chose to, which puts in today's date. And up here, I can also insert a time as well. Then you have simplify formatting rule here, which basically simplifies the formatting rule. And then, of course, you have make, make plain text, which I could make all of this a plain text if you uh, had no desire to have a, um, I guess, ones that are check markable, like for instance, this uh, right here uh, is no longer, you can check mark it, so it's just a plain text. And this can sometimes be useful if you're wanting to export this node into uh, some other uh, type of um, program. And so um, these are the ways you can use formatting to help yourself create notes. Also, just so you know, in your formatting rules here, also you have where you can insert a recording. You can also insert a um, camera um, into here, a picture or a um, video. You can also do attachments, and of course, you can utilize Google Drive. So these are some of the things that you can do within Evernote in order to help yourself become more productive in your note creation. Now, if you have any questions and comments, please leave those down below in the comment field. Also, if you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe and click on that notification bell if you want some notifications of upcoming videos. And with that being said, I want to wish you all an awesome day and let's become more productive. Thank you.